Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Shapes 2, a factory, uh, factory, uh, flactory, flactory automation sim. You know, I'm keeping it, where you're combining shapes together to, I guess, f fill various quotas and, like, goals and stuff, and every time you do, you unlock cool new upgrades to improve your factory, or blueprints and so on and so forth. It's absolutely gorgeous, too. Let me delete my old demo save file, and we're just going to start new. God, this looks nice. So what do we want to do? Scenarios. Operator certification. Required for all other scenarios. Do I have... I... Is this just the regular demo? I have no idea. Uh, Waboy! Sure, why not? I now have a new misspelling of my username. From Wanderbo uh, Wanderbot to Durbo to Wabo to... Wa uh, Waboy. Sure. Thank you for signing up. You did sign up, right? Either way, the Vortex requires us to evaluate your factory operator skills before issuing, uh, issuing, issuing your f operator certification. Deliver the required shapes as efficiently as possible. That's it. Might reward you with new upgrades and technologies based on your performance. You might, you have as many buildings as you want. Please don't damage them. We still need them for the next participant. Sure. I will not damage any buildings. Oh no. So yeah, is this the most basic, uh, I guess it's probably got a. Uh, I see. Yeah, there's no. Yes. There is no way to skip a tutorial, correct? Beans. I mean, it's fine. I've just done it before. Okay, is there a way to go faster? Doesn't look like it. So yeah, we're just going to be pushing. We're just going to be pushing these. Here's the thing. I can go off script a bit. We absolutely can just go nuts. Because, yeah, I don't think there's a limitation to the number of structures that I have. So we can do whatever we want. As long as it's within reason. Let's see, place anchors with C while drawing a belt. Hooray. I have no interest in that actual layout for obvious reasons. We're gonna bump in those as much as possible. Okay, cool. Place three half destroyers to, okay. I... Let's see, conveyor belt, dragon split. Wait, you can, do this. They auto, uh, they auto distribute. Deliver half the circles. It's not an idle game. Why not extract some squares already? All right. I guess I'm gonna stop going off scripts, uh, if only because it might not actually be practical for me to do so. But you never know. Okay, so it actually wants a lot of these half circles. I'm just going to be slightly lazy. I see. Can only do so uh can only split so much. Yeah, so these are going to bottleneck hard, but we don't care too deeply about this at least at the moment. Eventually, I could maybe kind of copy and paste some of these, but we're just trying to get, like, the most basic setup done and going, place a rotator to create quarters. Cutters, and then all the way down. The tutorial is good. Like, it, it is actually pretty effective at okay let's just rotators cutters it's pretty effective at actually teaching the techniques it's just one of those where uh oh hand holding drives me slightly nutty i think it's kind of a personality flaw i just get really impatient it's one of those where it's just like no i can figure this out on my own and even if i can't i then i deserve it I see, those should be good. These are 
decent. Get those in. Yeah, if we were doing this at larger scale, I'd probably split this up so that even these lanes are getting distributed out. And like, there is a valid point to be made of, well, I mean, who knows? No, this is, this is silly. We're about to complete our objectives anyway. Can now produce the next shape. Well, we're just working on the, the half rectangle. Okay, completed. Check our milestone awards. Unlock that. Stacker in second floor. Okay, place six stackers. Our slows always place multiples of them. Where do you want them? Okay, combine circles and squares. I see, so the answer is they just want them kind of wherever. All right. Just delete all of this, because we no longer need any of them. Shift right click to delete an area. That is actually quite helpful. All right, so. I guess for starters, let's just be silly. Okay, connect floors, Q and E, clicking and dragging. That's not really what I'm doing here. All right, there we go. So, I guess next order of business. Move this over here, move this over here. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. All right. So supply stackers with squares. Yeah, because I think what I'm going to want to do is probably just put squares on the bottom. And we have two of these. Let's clear that out. So now we're getting squares in the mix. But we also have this. So I'm going to do rotator, rotate. Wait, no. Cutters, rotators, cutters. And it accepts every rotation, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, well, yeah. I guess I'll just have them loop in like this. And that should give me a bunch of the one squares. Alright, so next up we got to figure out how to... How to go up? Stacking shapes. Okay, shapes can have four layers at most. Five on insane difficulty. Huh. Okay. So what do we have? We Oh, we have the conveyor belt and perfect. I'm just going to take two of these and we'll just bring them over here. Okay. Bring it up. How do we move floor up? Oh no, that's that's a launcher. Hmm. Okay, connect floors by pressing Q and E while dragging. I see, so the elevators are just kind of native. Cool. Bring it up and over. Should be able to just connect the rest of this. Connect in, and then now we should have our stackers. Probably just connect these over. Maybe put that one there. Get rid of some of this. Clean it up a bit. There we go. All right. You know, it's never a Wanderbot video, or it's always a Wanderbot video with me messing with these sound settings. I actually really like this music, so I'm going to turn it up a bunch. There we go. Going to give me a headache for later, but still. All right. 
uh, it should be working. Not exactly the scale or the speed that I was really hoping for, but there's only so much I can do about that. So I was hoping I'd have speed controls. Because, yeah, it wants 240 of them. I mean, what else do we have? Tasks. This will get us upgrades. Or tasks and milestones. Oh, tasks. Versus these. So we can get research points by completing these random things. Pin tasks you want to work on, making them always visible. I mean, I'll do halves with halves. We've got a whole thing here. Okay. Okay, I think that works. This is very Franken... Frankenstacker. But so be it. Okay, put them there. Let's just have three of them. Like I said, very Frankenstacker. Alright. But at least we have kind of a side objective to focus on. At least only this works. Yeah, looks like it... Looks like it stacks, so the top one gets squishled. Alright. There we go. Because they're nice and slow. So let's take a look at this. Looks like this is bottlenecking. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna be excessive. We're just gonna make... A couple extra layers of this. Because if these are gonna be glacial, I might as well have them have a lot of them, considering I need so many. Okay, so we can now produce the next shape, which is, oh no. All right. I look forward to being able to copy and paste many of these. Okay, you know what? There we go. Get rid of those, or maybe I have to. All right. Lock it up. There we go. and hook those up. So this should squish the way we want it to. So we're getting plenty of the circles on squares, we're getting an amount of squares on squares, and now, now we're getting the mini squares on squares. Do I have any other production sections? The answer is no? Yes, so we have some more circles, and we have some more squares, if I wanna do that. So why don't, we, why don't we take a look at our tasks? So this is square on square on square. Oh boy. All right, let's take a look. So square on square on square is doable. It's just very silly. Let's just take these three. And put them up to the task. Uh, you know what? Actually, this is not enough runway. Okay, put that there. Actually, we don't need two of these. Because all we need is... Stacker... I guess if I want to be efficient, there's no way to be fully efficient on this one. 
Uh, or, no, that's a lie. There absolutely are ways to be efficient on this one. But I think the easiest thing for me to do is to just do this setup. It's going to be a little bottlenecked, and we need, like, 140 of these, which is going to take a little while. But on the flip side, I think it'll be fine. I'm glad we're out of the tutorial level. Or, I guess we are still kind of in the tutorial level, but it's just like, hey, go wild. Uh, you know, build this kind of preliminary factory. So, next order of business. Yeah, because we're producing these, just not many of them. This is worthless now. I'm going to just trash this entire setup. Let's see what I can do with it. Okay. Um. I guess I should probably focus on these. I'm just going to separate a handful of this out. They're currently lined up, so we should be able to make that no problem. I guess the cutters are kind of slow. So we probably want to split before we cut. Or cut before we, or, I don't know. And again, not sure if this is really efficient, but it doesn't really need to be. All I need to have is a system that can kind of go on its own for a period of time. Until I can, uh, because, like, yeah, efficiency is nice, but I have so many other side tasks to be working on that I can go back and actually complete a handful of these and work on them simultaneously rather than, like, going peak, I, this is the one thing I am working on today. Probably. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I guess as soon as this is done, what I'm probably going to do is just adjust it so it's working on that next. We could fuse them together. What can I do with a research point? Cutter, swapper, trash, rotator, 180 rotator. A lot of these are going to require some science. I think I'd probably just want to improve belt speed first. Okay, so next order of business. Oh. Oh, no. Hmm. What other do we, whatever things do, do we have? Is there a silly cutter that lets me just take a quarter out? There is this cutter, which we do want. But yeah, that's six. Oh wow, yeah, actually a number of these are gonna be very nice for efficiency sake. Oh, yeah, this is agonizingly slow. Well, all things considered, let's speed it up. Because if it's not bottlenecking, Then I can just get a bunch of these, and I can always feed more squares in if I need to. Because I can, I can put more extractors down. This is why I want the belt upgrades. Oh, that should speed it up a little bit. As long as it's not full, I think we're fine. All right, so next order of business. Are any of these working on anything worthless? No, this one's still going. Needs 400. This needs 400. 
it's why efficiency would be good. But I think I'm, I think I'm always going to be more of a like, hey, I'm going to work on like six different things at one time, just because. Okay, so we want to do cutter, cutter, cutter. Rotator, cutter. Let me take a look at that. I mean, should be fine. It's not the most holistic line setup, but the spaghetti factory, as long as it works, it, it's fine. We'll get plenty of upgrades as we go along. The main goal is to just have each and every one of these things working on something. So I guess next order of business would be figuring this out. All right, uh, extractors. I guess we might as well put an extractor down on each and every one of these, just so I never have to think about putting extractors down again. It costs me nothing. We have an unlimited amount of buildings. As long as I don't destroy any of them, which I'm not sure if that's possible. Holy smokes, is this still backed up? Oh, it's because they're not outputting. Well. Even if they're not outputting, or, well, I don't know. I think this will be fine. So we're working on that, we're working on that. I believe we're making this now. Oh, it doesn't like that. Get rid of those. Now we do the stackers. Yeah, I guess it was flipped from the original. So this should work now. I guess, do we want to just do the silly thing? Yeah, let's, let's focus on this one next. Okay, cut like four times. Stack him. Oh, no, we can't do that. There we go. I'm going to run into some, some space issues. But I think this will be okay. As long as this gives me the stacked half... And yeah, we're going to need 320 of those. But my main focus is to be producing at least a portion of each of these first. Before I ever think about going back for efficiency. Because we're not bottlenecked until we're working at full capacity. What is this over here? I have no idea. I think we add extra island sections later. Which will be fun. So how do we, how in the devil do we split all of these?
Yeah, it destroys the west half of any shape. Oh, tw tab to switch variants. Do we have to get... Yeah, there's no... There's no way to swap it. I mean, it's fine. There we go. So that should give us that. And then all we need to do... Move these here. A couple more of these. We're gonna have to do some heinous things to this one. Yeah. Rotate twice? And that should work. Is it efficient? Hell no. Does it work? Oh, well, better. Alright, so we're done with another pin task. So I'll have to come back for these. And we get an unlock. So let's go for upgrades. I'm still thinking, like, much as I'd like the cutter, I think we just want the belts. Because that increases our extractor capacity, our rotator, our belt launcher, and just our conveyor belt. Oh, good to know that one cutter supplies two half destroyers. Or half destroyers? Um, wait, is that? Oh, no. Uh, one cutter supplies two stackers. And rotating should be even faster than cutting at this point. All right, those are good. Yeah, so we're just gonna start knocking some of these out, especially with the extra speed. Oh, this one's very silly. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna split on this floor. Okay, so how, how are we doing this one? Oh, can I not have a stacker up high? Well, that's, that's a downer. Probably better to have this continue on up high for a second. Okay, I think we don't need this last one in retrospect. Should have four floors. Again, is it efficient? No. Does it work? Hopefully. Alright. So some of these are redundant. This one is. I guess in retrospect, let's get rid of this. Because I've got this whole system here. Needs one more layer. Oh. Just get rid of these. 
Yeah, get rid of these. Another layer of stackers. Because all I have to do is just extend this one more. Only immediate problem is maybe not feeding enough in? No, actually the stackers are, are the biggest bottlenecks, so it, it straight up just doesn't matter. There we go, so that should be reasonably fast. So what, do, what else do we have that is no longer doing anything? This one. Why is it not cutting here? All right, let's let's go back down here and figure that out. Oh, cause west west half, of course. Okay, so let's figure out where this is in the process. Because all these have to be is together. So I don't need those. This, this should be what I'm looking for. I'm just going to keep adapting each and every one of these kind of side factories. And then I'll, probably after this, I'll also adapt it into this one. This one's just going to take 720, which means I might want to look into speed. I guess actually the easiest answer is this. Zap that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, cool. I might have a bit of a bottleneck. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Um. Really wish I could actually copy and paste these things, but it's fine. We're just gonna do cutter, 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 rotator, 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 rotator. Okay, get rid of this jazz. Get rid of this jazz. Continue this on south. Continue that on south. Um, I'm gonna go up here. We're just gonna get rid of some of this. Vortex indicates whether you... Yeah, I knew about that, mostly. Okay, it's splitting right at the end. So I can just put that there. Alright. And then this is just... Hey, everything. Which might actually be a bit of a bottleneck all things considered, but whatever. The main point is trying to get up to scale and using the correct ratios. Yeah, well, what I'm really looking for upgrade-wise, especially because some of these tasks are actually gonna be fairly easy, 
I want the cutter, because it actually saves the um, output, which means I can use them. Hmm, bent stackers seem kind of neat. That's why I can't go up to the third floor with the stacker yet. I have to unlock that. That's smart. Oh. Fridge. It's reversed. Hold up. Well, you know, we need 720 of these. I don't need the bonus objective that badly. So we'll have some bad ones for a hot second, but then they should start outputting what I'm looking for. Maybe? Because yeah, we already have this. The wild part is, I think I could scale this up even further. Oh no. It's still wrong. That's very funny. And also a pain. Yeah, it still doesn't like those. Okay. Uh... Alright, get rid of all of these. And the thing is, it's such an easy fix. All I have to do is just move the rotational parts down and just fart that. There we go. Now that's going to work. Alright, so what else can I do? Any of these. You are no longer relevant. So let's, let's just delete that entire thing. We're making that. We're not making this, but that's a pain in the butt. I guess we make this one. I think I'm going to need a run-up for this. Put that there. Five, six. Eh, fine. Okay. Second set of rotators. Combo those together. So each of these can do two. Let's see, two stackers. Yeah. There we go. Something like that. Should be fine. Not the prettiest, but I used to stream the uh, stream like a fair bit of Factory Sims, and I always just like my my defensive measure when it comes to referring to any of these things is to just call it a spaghetti factory because it is. Everything is spaghetti. All right. So what is this? Why is this showing a? G okay, I gotta check that. Out. Delivery indicator. Great check mark. You delivered enough. Fair. Uh, let's see. Boy, being able to, like, copy and paste some of these is going to be super nice. Shape code. Crew, crew, crew. Kuru, kuku. Huh. 
Oh, that's kind of fun. You can actually see, like, the various bits. I was kind of hoping clicking on it would actually, you know, let, just take me to the... Uh, take me to the thing. Oh, I see. I... It's still pinned. Bleh. Okay, well, we're done with that one. Oh, it looks like I don't have access to the next one. Also, there's a really basic circle task that I guess I'd missed. Well, I mean, that's easy. Go over this one. Go here. Okay. So what is the speed of an extractor? And I could upgrade the cutter or the stacker, but I don't feel like it yet. An extractor is 30 per minute. Well, no. C currently, it is 22 per minute. So, one extractor per cutter. So, at most, each of these can sustain four. Why am I, why am I doing that? Because we just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spaghetti? All in the name of science and progress and research and junk. Alright. So that should be maximum capacity, give or take. For circle stacking. And then we'll just start cutting them in half or something. Uh, let's see. So this is going slowly. These are going. That's going... What the hell is this? Okay, so... <laughs> Such a mess. Alright, this one this one's done. I'm just gonna keep that low. So we need to Uh, let's see. Cut four of these. Or no, we can we can only do four. Because each of these can go to two. There we go. Okay, and then we just need half circles on the other side. It doesn't matter the rotation as long as it's rotated. Hmm. Ugly. I guess I can just do that. Because each of these just connects to one. There we go. It's kind of out of the way enough. There we go. I guess these these could have potentially connected to more, but these cannot. Alright. Looks good. Alright. What was it again? C for an anchor. Oh, we're done with the couple of these, actually. Alright, task. Go back to this one. We can unlock. That's a big upgrade. And we're done with that entire chain. This is going fine. 
this is not going yet. I'll have to work on that one. All right. Let's think about this one. Actually, we barely need to think about it. So it's just cutter, rotator, cutter. So it's just cutter, rotator, cutter, rotator, cutter, rotator. And that should immediately put us on onto this one. Looks like everything else is getting serviced, so if this section can just do what I think it's going to do, then we're good. I'm glad that there's a undo button. So what do we grab next? I mean, I'm not going to be able to use it now, but I'm going to grab the cutter upgrade. Grab that, and I think I have, oh, the full circle. Yes, we'll go for the stacking upgrade. The one thing I will say is that it is better for me to just keep upgrading belts because I can just have more cutters and stackers, but belts were hard limited by the extractors and just transportation. Swapper would be interesting too, but we don't need that that desperately. Okay, so is this working? Please tell me this is now valid. It is. It, in fact, is perfectly lined up. So, next order of business. Whoop. Or actually, better yet. I mean, <sighs> so I'm getting rid of one, two, three. So I can get three more of these if I wanted to. I mean, why not, right? That'll be speed mode. It does look like it's having some bottleneck issues. Oh, because we raised the speed of these, so we actually didn't need as many. And I think we may also have too many things kind of coming through. There we go. Yeah, so belt speed's probably going to be the, the major killer here. Major killer? The... It'll save me a lot of time and effort and trouble. Okay, so it looks like these are done. Oh, did I stop making these? Oops. Well, it's okay. We'll, we'll finish this one up, then we'll go back to this. I was almost done. Uh, also looks like I can just zap the lot of this. Yeah, this is, this is all nothing. B to hide upper floors. But why would I do that? Okay, so do I have any squares? No. I think pretty much everything is going fine. Because this will be done shortly, and then all I have to do is just get rid of the... Uh, the second rotator, and then we can go back to finishing it up. In fact, I could probably reset it now. Oh yeah, we've got enough in the lineup. So let's just zap these. Keep that going. Uh, let's go back to tasks. Unlock that one. Well, and then I'll add the rotators back and then just slap a circle on top of it. Easy peasy.
I guess if I really wanted to work for it, I could actually do the, the big cutters uh, just to save on parts, because that effectively speeds things up a little bit. It's an option. I'm still only like 50 away from finishing this. I, I don't know. Wow, that didn't take much time at all. I checked my emails and then it's like, bading. All right, uh, let's see, so unlock this. This is still going. So that's a quarter circle, okay. What I wanna do for the most part is just put the rotators back on this one. And then... I'm gonna just get rid of this for a hot second. Just hook that up. We're just gonna need some space here. I'll probably reset much of my factory at a later date, but now it's fine. Okay, so if I just do this and then like a gazillion stackers again, but this time, that going on. Now we should be able to just slap a whole hell of a lot of circles on top of all of this. So next order of business is going kind of silly with circle splitting. Mm, I'm going to need some space here, aren't I? because I think we need to rotate them, then split them again. Okay. Now this is just stacking them on top of each other. There is an upgrade for, I'm gonna grab the counterclockwise rotator just because it's gonna make my life a bit easier. Seems like, yeah, if I just put that there. Onto each of these. And now we just have circles. Or the double stack circles. Let's just do this, bring it over, and hook it up. Yeah, can I not? Okay, blueprints. We have to unlock blueprints first to copy and paste. Where are blueprints in this mix? I think we need to finish our operator certification, which is Stanko. Because that means I need to work for this. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I rotate all of them. And then it's a counter rotator on the right side. Stacker, stacker, stacker. There we go. Mm. Did something wrong with this one. Okay, there we go. We'll have a couple of invalids, but that's fine. Okay, so I think we're done. Let's finish our tasks. I wonder if we get to keep our unlocks. Wow, some of these are actually pretty wild. Milestones. Blueprints! Milestones first. Recommend prioritizing milestone shapes first and then doing side tasks while they're being delivered. Alright, cool. Well, nice part is now I can copy and paste junk, which is huge. 
Next will be space platforms. Oh, okay. So this is operator certification. Looks like I might be able to just continue where I've left off. Appreciated. Okay, select an area with shift left click, control C, and then we can just paste it. Nice. There. We just want to get rid of that. And being able to copy and paste means I can scale this up endlessly. Pick those up. Now all we need is belt speed. Or, you know. Have that go. All right, there we go. So that'll speed that up a little bit because I guess we only need 320, but still. I'm trying to think. I think we we have a lot of detritus at this point. I think at this point we go for the full reset. Enough of this is junk. Let's just finish this one objective. Because a lot of these are no longer the stacked ones. Oh, except for this. This one, this one I can still do a thing with. Look, if, we are, if we've already got, like, half of the thing done, we might as well just use it. Because I'd like to go for a full factory reset just due to sheer inefficiency, inefficiencies at this point. Like, this, this whole factory is just scuffed. But I guess I can leave it, because, okay, this is done. So I can turn it in. Wherever it is, there we are. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, here, this is done. I think instead of anything, let's just delete those because I can, I can copy and paste now. So all we need to do is just figure out how to make this shape once and then everything else is just easy. Okay, so they're both counterclockwise. Okay. So that works. And then all I have to do is just have one of these two stack into the other. And then we're good to go. This is why we would want the turn stacker. Now let's see if this works. It should. Oh no, it's perfect. All right. Yeah, so let's just make a bunch of them. Okay, those three to th this one. Put this here, and we're good. 
Now we just have to wait for those belts to roll. And speaking of, let's just speed that up. I could get the stacker bents, but I th well, never mind. That's going to be very expensive. We might also want to look into the swapper at this point. That was your issue. Oops. Okay. So everything else at this point is going to be a little messy. I mean, this one's easy. Kind of easy. Because all I have to do is just do... I, I love the cutter. I think it is probably my favorite building in the game. Um, let's see. Purely from... So we're going to do a counterclockwise and then a clockwise. There we go. And then just a stacker. And that's how we make one double layer thing. So shift left click. Do this four times. I could probably do more than that. We'll do four for now. And then rotate it. Okay, perfect. Rotate it again. Or put it there. Perfect. And then all I need is just... Four more stackers. That's probably fine. My belts are faster than these things output, probably. The main goal is to just have a machine that makes it, because by the time I'm working on another one of these tasks, uh, or like, by the time I'm done setting up a machine that makes this thing, oh god, uh, or this thing, for example, this will be done, so it doesn't matter how efficient or inefficient I am. Uh, oh, press I. Or I or one. Let's let's check a safe spot. So select that. Is it just I? Ah, yep, just wipes it out. Nice. It's good for getting rid of junk junk shapes that we don't need that bet that much anymore. Yeah, I'm just gonna delete all of that. Because, yeah, what I have to do is figure out... Because this, this should be going. Is it not? Oh, no. That's why it's not going. Oh, no. Um, it's fine. It's funny but also completely unintended. Oh, you know what I can do? Whoop. That didn't work. Okay, so this is... I'm just gonna get rid of half of these. I don't... There's no way that I can, like, just flip this, right? Select connected, clear contents. Yeah, what I was hoping is I could actually select it and then flip to the other variant. Yeah, okay, let's give that a shot, because I think this is going to rotate it the way I want it to. God, this music is so good. It's got exactly the right bump. Oops. All right, no, now it's going. For a second, I was making just regular squares, which um, not what I not what I intended. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, can I actually get the swapper? No, it's twelve. Ouch. Though my side side quests do actually get progressively more valuable as I continue on. Please tell me that this actually is going to do the thing that I want it to do as opposed to the weed. Yeah, there it is. 
Took some time, but we got there. Anyway, I think with all this said, this is a very good stopping point, at least for now. I adore this game. The music, the aesthetic, like, this game is gorgeous. What the hell is going on here? Also, oh my goodness. How the hell are you supposed to play this game at this scale? I have no idea. Press H to go back to the Vortex platform, but like... What? I, you know, I was expecting I'd be able to zoom out this far. I was not expecting to be able to zoom out this far. I was not expecting to be able to zoom out this far. Or go all the way... Oh my... What, how? I'm assuming this is like for the extra hard... Wild nonsense. But the fact that it goes that far that hard is insane to me in kind of the best possible way you know games that let you go that far are something special i'm curious if there's higher tier degrees of these things vortex inputs painting train speed and then who knows what's beyond all of these yeah more upgrades more colors presumably <laughs> the sky's the limit and that's equal parts terrifying and, and extremely cool gonna delete all of this at this point don't need it anymore this is still going just kind of slowly and yeah everything else I'm gonna leave for later later it'd be nice to get the operator's license but I think I'm just gonna save that for another day another video or, or maybe a stream I don't know uh oh right it's shift right clicked to get rid of things I've been pressing the delete button which works too but it's slightly less efficient efficient um but yeah there's an untold amount of things. I I have not left the tutorial. We have not messed with color. We have not messed with half of the features of this game. We haven't even touched like a percent of the map, which is wild to me. What does this even require? Do I have to like deliver that to unlock these things? I, I do not know. I'm excited to find out. Oh no, these are mining things. So we can build these like, M shape minor platforms. Oh. So shape minor, but these improve the throughput of it. So I could put a shape minor here and then just splurt whatever the hell this shape is. Oh, and then this is probably for paint. And oh no, this game is insane. I'm so much looking forward to seeing where it goes. But for now, at least, I should mention that Shapes 2 is available on Steam right now. So if you do want to pick it up and play it yourselves, just follow the link in the description below. Uh, let's see. And I guess as part of that, I should also mention I'll, I'll play more of this at some point. It might be an off and on kind of game. Like, I don't have anything to do. Let's load up Shapes 2 and just have some fun with it. Uh, and just kind of add it to my my little workflow like that. Or who knows? Um... But at the very least, God, I'm going to be listening to the soundtrack for the next couple of hours and having a very good time with it. But I guess with all that said, if you like this video in any way, shape or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, at least, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.